The number one question that is on everybody's mind when it comes to YouTube and AI is, can you actually monetize AI videos? Now I'm talking about AI videos with regard to creating an outline, actually using a AI voiceover and an AI video editor. In this video, I'm going to give you irrefutable proof if you can do it or not using a YouTube channel that I recently restarted. So if you wanna know if you can actually monetize AI videos, watch this entire video because I'm going to give you I'm going to give you the real answer. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to answer this question once for all. I'm going to talk about the process I use there's actually two ways that you can monetize AI videos. The easy way, a really easy way, which takes like five minutes to do, and the slightly more difficult way. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video if you can actually monetize or not. So again, one of the biggest questions that people have had when it comes to YouTube is can you actually monetize? There's been people that say, no, it won't get uh, monetized because it's reused content. Some people say, yes, you can actually do it. Let me just give you a little bit of background of the YouTube channel. Uh, this YouTube channel was monetized at one point. It has about 1,200 subscribers. It lost monetization because I hadn't uploaded in over a year. But recently, I uploaded about five videos, and then I reapplied for monetization. And again, at the end of this video, I'll tell you if I was accepted or not. But let's take a look into my computer. I'm going to show you my exact process. I'm going to show you the hard way to create AI videos, and then I'm going to show you a really stupid, easy way to do it. And so I'll let you decide if that's something that you wanna do. So what I would do is first I would get an idea. If we look at my computer, I'm over on ChatGPT, this is the free version. Uh, I get an idea, maybe I wanna create a YouTube video about underwater basket weaving. The first step is to ask YouTube or ask ChatGPT, create a title or create 10 titles with regard to underwater basket weaving. Now, underwater basket weaving is our keyword that we wanna focus on. As you can see, create 10 YouTube titles for underwater basket weaving. You can see it gave us some ideas. And what I like to do is I just like to tell ChatGPT what our title is, just so it can have more information. So I'll just say, um, note our title is, and then I'll put that right in quotes, just so that they know. Now, the next thing that I like to do is I like to ask ChatGPT for a five minute YouTube outline with regards to our title so that it knows exactly what to do. Now, the reason why I like to ask for the outline first, because if you just ask ChatGPT to give us a script, unfortunately, it will give us a very short script. It won't be five minutes. It'll probably be about 30 seconds and we won't have enough. So I'm gonna copy and paste in the script that I use in order to get a script, a, a prompt, I should say, in order to get my script. And so, as you can see, I will do, I will ask ChatGPT to write an engaging video script outline that is five minutes long for the following. And then I like to put it in quotes just to give it some information. And then, as you can say, it says, use storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of the standard intro, creating a hook and building out context before jumping into the main content in the script sharply using. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, do not include scene or narrator information, just the script outline like this, and then it's going to actually obviously give us a script. Sometimes it listens, sometimes it doesn't. What I'll do next is I'll simply copy the section and I'll just say write intro like this, write intro, and then I'll put it in quotes, and then I'll have it write the intro. And then I'll just repeat this process again and again. And once I have a script, I'll move on to the next step. Now, again, I've actually done this two different ways in order to make sure that I give you the most accurate information. Once I have a script, I will do two things. I'll take the script and I'll put it into an AI video editor. So it'll do all of the, it'll put together the video for us. And then I'll also put it into a voice over actor or actress. And th the first step is to put it into the video editor. Let's say for example, I want to use this. I just copy this. I'll put it right over into a software called Pictory. And then I'll click login because obviously I have an account. Now your back office may look a little bit different, but once I'm here, I'll click on proceed to script to video like this, paste in my script, and I'll just give it underwater basket weaving as a title. 
I'll just put underwater for now. And then I'm going to click on proceed and it's going to generate the script. I just give it a little bit more information. Um, I'm just gonna click on one of these templates because it doesn't really matter for what we're doing. The two things that I absolutely make sure that I do when I'm using Pictory is I make sure that I turn off the subtitles. I'm gonna add the subtitles back in later and I turn off the AI voice because you can do AI voice through Pictory. I actually don't like how it sounds. I think it sounds better somewhere else. So what I'll do is first I'll turn off the, the closed captioning or the, the subtitles, and then I'll also go to the voiceover and I'll make sure that I turn off the voiceover and the background music, and I'll apply that to everything. And then once we're done here, we're gonna click on download. And then we are going to bring all of this together and a different piece of software. So while that's working, usually what I'll do is I'll come over to the voice actor, the AI voice actor that I use, and it's actually called Lovo.ai. And the reason why I like Lovo.ai is I can actually clone my own voice or close enough so it sounds like a real person. For example, if I come over here, and right now you can see it says Alston. Um, it has a bunch of different voices for you to choose from. But what I did is I came down to voice cloning and I will just let you hear this. Hopefully you can hear it. May the force be with you. So that sounds kind of like me. It's probably not a one for one comparison, but you know, that's not bad. The next thing that you want to do is you actually want to render this. This is a monthly charge. Everything that I'm talking about is a paid service. And so I'm just going to click on generate and I'm gonna let you hear just a little bit of it so that you can see how this works out. And you know, it actually doesn't sound too bad. It sounds kind of like me in some words, but other words, it doesn't sound like me at all. Now again, this is a paid product. Um, it is a monthly subscription. You might be able to do this for free somewhere, but usually the quality suffers. And the other thing you've got to realize is that when you are using a free software, there are thousands, if not millions of other people that are also using the exact same software. And so you'll run into a problem where all of the videos will start to sound the same. So let's listen to this and see if we can hear. Hi there, welcome to Jenny. The simple mode is perfect for creating single speaker short voiceovers. Simply pick your preferred speaker, type or copy and paste your script. Then click the generate now, I don't know that I sound like that. Maybe I do comment below if that sounds like me, but it's not bad. It's different than any other AI voices out there. And what you'll just need to do is you'll click on generate and then you can click on export and you'll also download this to your computer. So when you're done, you're going to have two files. You're going to have your Pictory file that you're going to download and then you're going to have this voiceover. You're going to need a place to combine them and then do one additional thing. Again, this is the long way to do it. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to do this in just a matter of moments and you can actually walk away from the computer while this is working in the background. So the final thing that I like to do is I like to bring my voiceover and my and my video editing together using Premiere Pro. Now, the reason why I like using Premiere Pro, I, I can actually add subtitles really, really quickly. Now, for this example, I'm going to use the video that I uploaded yesterday, my sample, okay? And so what we can do in a matter of moments is we can automatically add the the subtext or the, the closed captioning, the text, whatever you want to call it, we can add it right to the screen in a matter of moments. And to do this, and, and this helps differentiate your videos from everybody else, is I'm just going to click on text here. Um, I'm going to create captions and then transcribe and create captions just like this. And then in a matter of moments, we have we have captions. And what we can do is we can actually download this, add it right to our text, easy peasy. Once we're done with this, we download it to our computer, and just like that, we upload it. So this is the long way. Um, this process probably takes me about uh, 20, 30 minutes every time I wanna do it. However, there is a much easier, much faster way, and this is brand new. I actually heard about this new software from, his name is Builderpreneur, Spencer Meacham. Uh, this is something that is brand new. Again, it's gonna be a paid service, but this paid service is going to save you hours of time. Again, you can set it and forget it, walk away from your computer while this is working in the background, and it's gonna actually help you make some money. So let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new software. So the brand new software is actually called ai.nvideo.io. I'm gonna put a link down in the description, but with this software, you can quickly, 
quickly and easily make a YouTube video. Now, there's a few ways to work on it. You can either type in your instructions right here. We could say something like, uh, give me a five minute YouTube video about underwater basket weaving, or we can actually select the workflow. So I'm just gonna select the workflow, make our life a little bit easier, select workflow, YouTube explainer, create a five minute video, and then we're gonna say underwater basket weaving, just like this. Then I'm going to click on continue, but you can see you can dictate the background music, the gender, um, watermark if you wanted to. And then you actually have the option of using iStock photos. Every month you're gonna get a certain number of credits. You can also elect not to do iStock photos, but I'm gonna click on continue, generate video, and it's gonna do all the work for you. It's gonna come up with a script, it's gonna come up with the voiceover, and it's gonna come up with the video editing all done for you, and you can literally walk away. So you could do this before you go to work, go to work, come back and you're gonna have a video done for you. Now, if we come back over to Premiere Pro, it finally did the the voice, uh, it finally did the closed caption. Now, what we can do here, if we wanted to, is we can go to Essential Graphics, Edit, and then we can actually put in our, our text. Now, the reason why I like doing this is that it actually helps to make the video more unique. It's giving more information. And so um, just to show you Monastra Black, like this, this is what I would use. Um, I would do this and then, you know, you just kind of configure it, make the necessary changes that you want to make and so on. But as you can see, this takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. However, the cool part is, is the alternative that will make this much, much easier and quicker on you. And so basically what you would do is just uh, make sure that you apply the setting to all of the, the text, make it into an actual um, thing that you can edit, and then you would download this to your computer. All while, if we look at our software here, click on continue, this is working for us. So um, I actually uploaded both types of videos because I wanted to test. Again, I have done I have done both ways this channel that I have tested this on. First started off with me having, just me creating content on that channel. Then I hired a few um, virtual assistants to do the work for me. More recently, I'm testing AI. It was not monetized for about maybe six months to a year. And I reapplied two days ago and I got notification yesterday if it, was, if it met the requirements for monetization. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look and I'll tell you once and for all, if this channel was able to be monetized. All right, so here you go. As you can see, this channel, I'm gonna blur some of this stuff out. This channel was monetized as of two days ago, and now I can run ads right on the account. So can you monetize AI, completely AI videos? The answer is yes. I don't know how long this is gonna work, um, and there are two ways to do it. The way that I showed you the first way is probably a little bit cheaper, However, the second way here is certainly much more faster and you can set it and forget it. Um, maybe when this is done, I'll show, at, toward the end of the video, I'll show you what this video looks like so you can get an idea of, of the differences between the two. So without, without any more guessing, yes, you can monetize completely 100% AI videos. Again, I don't know how long this, is, this little loophole hack tip trick is gonna work. So, Good luck.